After a decade of dire headlines about the hobbled high street, it's high time for a little good news. And here it is, we're on Marketplace, a street heaving with slow-moving shoppers meandering between striped awnings. Welcome to Froome, a smallish former textile town in the eastern reaches of the Mendip Hills in the UK's West Country. A quick walk up towards cobbled Catherine Hill reveals stalls that teem with avant-garde cakes that look more like Kandinsky's than confectionery. Solicitor stallholders flog cured meat, British cheese and gins distilled in the nearby spa town of Bath, plus a battalion of handsome hounds. So how do we account for the unlikely success of this Somerset town? The businesses, of course, but also the Froome Independent, a small organisation launched in 2009 which runs these monthly markets. Started with 15 pitches, it now has some 700 traders on its books. The Froome Independent team of four vets the firms to keep the lineup honest, local and interesting. The market has also been a catalyst for full-time tenants, who've taken over the once dilapidated shops here. James Borley co-founded the design shop Resident with Greg Avis and, of course, their Welsh terrier Howie. Meanwhile, Anthony Hick is a former stylist who opened his tasteful apparel shop Assembly in late 2010. Across the road is Muin 2, a timber-clad nook of a coffee shop started by the 28-year-old Ewan Barker. Today, he's a bellwether for the bright young entrepreneurs who have hung out their shingles here. So, what are the most important take-homes from Froome's unlikely retail revival? Well, the Froome Independence founder and director, Gavin Eddy, has a somewhat radical theory that the town's success could easily be replicated elsewhere. Judging by the happy customers flocking to Froome, retail done right is still a fairly easy sell. For Monocle, I'm Josh Fennett.